What's up guys, welcome to Man About Bake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell, and in this series, I'm gonna take you on an in-depth look through my most popular recipes from my show, Man About Cake. Today, we're gonna start with my vegan vanilla cake recipe, and I'm gonna finish it with an awesome cotton candy tower. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, to start our vanilla cake, our vegan vanilla cake, we're gonna get all of our dry ingredients into the bowl and then we're gonna let the whisk sift them for us. By the way, if you want this to be completely 100% certified vegan, you have to buy vegan sugar because sugar just regularly in the store is not vegan. That's weird, right? It's a little unusual, yeah. It's because in the process to keep the sugar white, they use animal bones. So if you are making something for someone who is strictly vegan, they're not gonna wanna have anything to do with anything that used animal products. But you can find vegan sugar, it's very easy. I like the idea that there's just this assembly line on the sugar. Ah, uh, work in the vegan sugar factory. Right, that's baking soda and baking powder, which is our leavening agents. So this is almond milk. You could use coconut milk. You can use real milk if you're not doing a vegan cake. That was the vinegar that I add to this. This sort of kind of curdles this and makes it into a buttermilk. We need the acid to react with the baking soda and salt to get the leavening because there's no eggs in this. And then we'll add our vanilla to the water, Madagascar bourbon vanilla. You can use any vanilla. You can even use imitation vanilla. This is just my favorite vanilla. So as you can see, we are pretty much lump free here, nice and fluffy. Oh, she's doing good today. Oh. We're not the best of friends. So I'm gonna add the oil. I'm gonna add milk and most of the water. So this is gonna make a thick sort of like brownie batter. I'm gonna scrape it. This will help rid any of the lumps and then we'll add the remaining liquid when we're finished. Look how delicious that looks. Yum. Yes. Okay, now we'll turn it on low. low. She's gotta go to the doctor. Mm. Anybody else have a mixer that's crazy? Comment below, because I know you do. I have about, I don't know, six or seven mixers, and I love them all equally. Oh, that's good. They're all my babies, but yeah, some of them are nuts. Delicious. So I could leave it like this. This is the point where you could add bananas, lemon zest, lemon juice. You could add an extract if you wanted. You guys know me pretty well from Man About Cake. I'm gonna add sprinkles. <laughs> These are like sprinkle stars. In the oven, they'll sort of like burst a little bit and then you'll see when I cut the cake open, it's just like a little party in there and nobody knows it's in there. And you cut the cake and people are like and They don't really do that, but they get really excited. All right, look at that, perfect. So now I'm gonna get all of this batter into the pans and then get it into the oven. Okay, so I have my pans prepared. So what I do is I just spray them with pan spray, but for an extra help, and this is a tip I learned a long time ago, whenever I'm making buttercream or anything with butter, I save the wrappers, I stack them up, put them in the fridge, and anytime I'm baking, I use them, because it's just parchment paper, and I put them in the bottom, and it helps when they're coming out. All right, so we're gonna divide our batter up evenly, and I like to do this with a cup measure. I'm gonna start by putting two cups in each one, and then we'll divide the rest up. Party batter. Party batter. By the way, this recipe makes four eight inch rounds, two 10 inch rounds, or eight six inch rounds. We can't waste any batter because like that's a whole cupcake right there. So we will scrape this. Everybody will get a little bit. Everybody gets a scoop. Let me feed you baby birds. All right, now it's time to bake. We're gonna get these in the oven. All right, now we have to level our cakes. They're out of the oven, they're completely cold. And let me show you, so there's the butter wrapper. Later, butter wrapper. Pull it right off, don't use it again. So now we're just gonna level the top here with a serrated knife. Ready for that sprinkle explosion? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Boom! Yeah! Oh, I still could've used more. Well, well, for me, more is always more. But isn't that really pretty? It's awesome. Right? Good catch. Oh, these are these would be good tacos too. Oh. oh, we might have. Okay, we're gonna save. We might have to make those. Now I'm gonna clean all my crumbs up, and we're gonna fill this with Swiss meringue buttercream. Okay, so this is my Swiss meringue buttercream, and I wanna make sure in between each layer I have the exact amount, so we have a good ratio of cake to buttercream. So rather than just plopping it on here, I'm gonna use a disher. That's what this called, you know, for mashed potatoes or for ice cream. It's more traditionally ice cream, I think. <laughs> 
So we'll do probably two scoops in between each layer. That way when you cut it, it looks nice and even. All right, we'll put the next piece on. Oh, the tacos, I forgot the tacos. I'll make a taco. James, you want a taco? I want a taco. Cake tacos are the best. Taco for James. Thank you. Tommy, you want to eat this Lady in the Tramp style? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the camera not on that? I cannot believe y'all just did that. All right, let's continue to fill this. Boy, Reagan's going to be mad when she finds out who you Lady in the Tramp with first. And she'd be insanely jealous. So jelly but just that she didn't get a taco. <laughs> <laughs> smooth it, smooth it. It's like my fantasies of always wanting to be a lunch lady. Lunch man? Yeah, but back in the day when I was in elementary school, you called them the lunch lady. And they were all ladies. And they were all awesome. And they would give you square pizza, and then they would give you mashed potatoes. <laughs> Like that. Yeah. I'm gonna get this into the cooler and let it firm up completely, so much so that when I touch the buttercream, it'll be firm to the touch. Then we'll trim the sides and give it a crumb coat. So I'm just trimming the sides a little bit to leave some space in between the board and where the cake is for buttercream, but then also to remove a little bit of the caramel, caram caramelization. Or as Brandon calls it, I know that guy, Carl. Caramelization. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna give it a crumb coat. This is just a very light coat of buttercream that will hold the crumbs in for our final coat. All right, now I'm gonna get this back in the cooler to firm up completely and we'll do our final coat. This smells so good. <laughs> so my cake is completely cold to the touch. All my crumbs are trapped from the crumb coat. It's completely firm. Start with the top and then we'll do the sides. And we're gonna actually bring the buttercream all the way out to this lip here. So when I go back and scrape it, it'll be a nice 90 degree angle. All right, now I'm gonna take a straight edge and scrape the sides here. Just keep it completely flat, and we should get a nice straight edge. What I'll do is scrape through it, and then I'll go back and see spots like this, spots like down here, we'll fill those in. So the real goal here is to get this completely straight, but also to build up this wall so we can scrape across and make a nice edge. That looks pretty good. Any other perfections I will correct when we get it out of the cooler. Let's give the top a haircut here. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> that started with the episode with that giant cake that you kept making fun of. <laughs> with the Jurassic Park theme song. Yeah. This would be a fun dinosaur thing. Was I good or no? Gosh, I laughed hard at that episode. All right, I'm gonna let this get in the cooler and cool completely, and then we'll tighten it up, add our sprinkles. Okay, now our final coat is completely cold. Now I'm gonna cut through it and make it as smooth as possible. Oh, that's real smooth. Real smooth. Although we are gonna pretty much cover the whole thing in sprinkles, I'm just trying to show you guys how you would do this if you were gonna leave it sprinkle free, which sounds horrible to me. Why would you leave something sprinkle free when you have sprinkles right Everything there? Everything should have sprinkles. Okay, that looks pretty nice and tight. So now the fun part, sprinkles! <laughs> Beautiful. So I'm gonna add a little bit to the top here. And now we're gonna make a cotton candy towery thing. I've never done this before, so we're gonna see how this works. It's gonna be fun, I think. Oh good, this is your first try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, I have my cotton candy machine, which is super aggressive. I, I rented this, it's like one from a carnival. And so the idea is that I'm gonna try to stack it up onto the cake. 
So we'll use one of these as sort of our holder of cotton candy. Hey, look, a unicorn. So you say you got this from a carnival worker? I got it from a, like a place where you rent like jumpy castles. But I did this once on like a competition show where we had, to, we made a poodle. I made all the hair from one of these. I'm trying to like reassure people I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Okay. Something just shot out of there. Oh look, it's, something's happening. That's cotton candy right there, look. I'm gonna go home tonight and there's gonna be cotton candy in my armpit. Everywhere. It's kind of fun, right? Oh my god, slow down! It's getting in my face. This whole thing is about to fall off. Why is it smoking? I don't know. It smells How much like... more cotton candy do we need? I don't know, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this off. Yeah, we need way more. Whew. Round two. Are we ready, guys? I guess. That's even worse. The cake has moved away to be safer. So here we go. Look at why it's spinning. All of a sudden, wants to dance. Stop dancing. It's like moving for real. Just gotta hold on to her. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> how do people do this for a living? I'm exhausted. <laughs> Wait, we can take some of this and put it around you. Got a little bit in your hair there, Joshua. Too high? <laughs> Alright, now we can unfold this. What if this isn't enough? Oh, let's make it enough. <laughs> You're like, I'm over it. Now I'm gonna finish the cake, the cotton candy tower, and clean everything up. <laughs> In my face. <laughs> my vanilla cake recipe Cotton Candy Tower is complete, and I think she turned out super fun. She was a little bit difficult, and keep in mind, you don't have to do the cotton candy. You can just do the cake part. If you guys want this recipe or any of my most popular recipes, you can also download my Man About Bake ebook. Now, uh, she was so hard to make, I'm gonna eat her all by myself. Whoa, 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 we're here too? No, no, nope, she's mine. Hold on, I'm not, I'm not done, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all over my face. <laughs> Man. But sometimes on the show you just plop it. That is true, but you're not supposed to do that. You've just been doing this long enough, that's okay. I usually get it pretty right. Yeah, no, I'm kind of the same way. I've been, I've been working in the film business so long that I just hold the camera myself and I know I'm so perfectly straight that I never have to worry about anything. It just never goes out of frame. It never James, has a problem. You sit back there and direct everyone. It's never an issue. That is not true. <laughs> Oh, oh, I mean, uh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't see what you were doing. That's funny.